So you know, folks, life belongs to God. That's the greatest gift he gave us. He wanted to share that with us. Because we're made in his image. Life belongs to God. And we have no right to destroy it. All life and healing come from God. What do you think about that one, Kai? Totally agree, Dr. George. You know, what the, what the world will say is that we own our life. And because we own our life, as what the world says, then we can do whatever we think will make our life happy. And this kind of thinking makes us self-centered and makes us you know, seek for the wrong things that we thought will fill the gaps of our life. Satan is the father of lies and he is really good at deceiving us and blinding our minds from the truth. If we will live according to the standards of this world, we will think we are not sinners, like those who committed murders, um, adultery, and so on. Satan makes us believe that they are sinful and we are not, and we're just fine as long as we do not commit heinous crimes. That is becoming our measurement of being a good person. If we will acknowledge that we are not the owner of our life or of this life and of this body that you know if you will acknowledge that it is god who is the one who has entrusted us this body then we will have a different perspective about how we should live our life and how we can glorify god with our life well you and, and that's what it's all about kai you hit it right spot on you know, all life and healing come from God, and He's the owner of our bodies. And so we're to glorify Him because they're temples of the Holy Spirit. And so in the West, there's a different type of poverty. It's that spiritual poverty of loneliness, of not having that living water, of not knowing Jesus Christ and having that personal relationship with Him. There's that hunger for love, and there's that hunger for God. Until our hearts are resting in in the hearts of Jesus, we're not going to have peace. And so Mother Teresa has given us all these beautiful affirmations to encourage us to nurture and grow that divine exchange, that love for Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. So we thank you, Mother Teresa, for, that beautiful, for those beautiful inspirations, those affirmations that we could share with the world. And so we can help each other on the path to salvation.